is nothing less than a miracle. Every president in our history has defended this orderly transfer of authority, except one. January 6, 2021 was the first time one American president refused his constitutional duty to transfer power peacefully to the next. Ms. Cheney issued that statement with all of these damn frauds up there, which is including Adam Schiff. They knew they were lying. She knew she was lying. That's why they destroyed information, and we can prove it. She goes on to, to act as if Mr. Trump never offered the, the, the National Guards, and we know that's a lot. But listen to a lie again. Among the most shameful of this committee's findings was that President Trump sat in the dining room off the Oval Office watching the violent riot at the Capitol on television. For hours, he would not issue a public statement instructing his supporters to disperse and leave the Capitol. Why? Because she wants you to believe that he never offered, and the committee findings say that they never had any evidence to support that President Trump officials said that they asked, he asked for 10,000 National Guard troops to be sent. She knows this, and a matter of fact, uh, Liz Cheney, the modern day Abraham Lincoln, the whole committee falsely claimed they had no evidence while knowing full well they were suppressing the evidence. I think it was the Federalists and Gateway Pundit already has pointed this out. There's a fellow by the name of Deputy Chief of Staff Anthony Arnado, I think that's how you pronounce his name. He first it was transcribed in an interview with the committee. It was conducted on January 28, 2022. He told uh, Liz Cheney in the committee that he overheard the White House Chief of Staff, Mark Mellows, push Washington, D.C. Mayor ba uh, Bowser to request as many National Guard troops as needed. She declined. Nancy Pelosi declined. The, the, the Metro Police declined. And the FBI stood by without trying to communicate the proper term to Donald Trump, knowing full well they lied. And oh, by the way, they destroyed the evidence when it was time for Donald Trump people to look at it. And with a clear face, Liz Cheney gets on and, and goes around. Adam Schiff goes around. Um, Adam Kinsler goes around, acting as if they didn't suppress the evidence. To me, this is high treason. She should have been arrested. And what gets me is that they told these lies about, they had another witness. You remember that little um, crazy nut heifer, that Hutchinson woman? She testified under oath that Donald Trump tried to grab the steering wheel while he was riding in the beast from the back seat. He got very long arms. He grabbed the steering wheel and tried to, uh, I guess, turn it around. How dumb does that even sound? And one of the chief secret service and the driver of the car said that never happened under oath. Liz Cheney and this crew ignored that evidence. The president too. had gotten into the vehicle with Bobby. He thought that they were going up to the Capitol. And when Bobby had relayed to him, we're not. We don't have the assets to do it. It's not secure. We're going back to the West Wing. The president had very strong, a very angry response to that. Um, Tony described him as being irate. The president said something to the effect of, I'm the effing president, take me up to the Capitol now. To which Bobby responded, sir, we have to go back to the West Wing. The president reached up towards the front of the vehicle to grab at the steering wheel. Mr. Engel grabbed his arm, said, sir, you need to take your hand off the steering wheel. We're going back to the West Wing. We're not going to the Capitol. Mr. Trump then used his free hand to lunge towards Bobby Angle. And Mr. when Mr. Renato had recounted this story to me, he had motioned towards his clients. You know, I just love how the Lord is just exposing these phony rhinos, the deep state, and the media. Every time they try to lie about something on Donald Trump, it gets exposed. 
the latest is the Monday Abraham Lincoln. Now we found out that Liz Cheney, who conspired with her, see now, daddy, I'm, I'll be glad when that pacemaker stopped beating. Dick Cheney and nine more of the former defense secretaries all conspired with Liz Cheney, the deep state, and Liz Cheney wrote a, I guess she co-authored the Washington Post piece or an op-ed piece. And she was trying to make it as if Donald Trump was trying to use the military to overthrow the election. So why would we believe anything that Liz Cheney and these people say? They've done everything they can to try to set Donald Trump up. But you know, God has a way of exposing your dirty deeds. And their dirty deeds have been exposed. How is it even possible to even grab the steering wheel from the back seat anyway? And what got me is that you had this uh, 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 Benny Thompson, that field hand, and you had the rest of the, quote, select committee. Adam Kinsler, who's a hall monitor. Liz Cheney thinks she's Abraham Lincoln. Adam Schiff with a little pencil neck. All these people. And then they had Jamie Raskin, that freaking commie right there. He was on this committee. But notice who they didn't want to let on the committee. They didn't want to let people like Jim Jordan on the committee because they knew they was going to lie and try to set this up. How can these people keep doing this crap and getting away with it? And another question I have for you. Why don't the Republicans stop having these hearings with Margus and the rest of these people? Because you already know you caught them in many lies. Why keep bringing them down and let them testify? They said the border was secure. We know it's a lie. They were flying people in and it had nothing to do with these people being asylum seekers. They weren't running from persecution. They've flown people in. They've lied about it. They've given them wristbands. The drug dealers are giving them wristbands. So they still make it know that they still owe money to the drug cartel. And the border was wide open, but we ignored that because these the Republicans are not going to do anything to lock up people like my Argus. He should have been impeached a long time ago. So should Joe Biden. But how is Liz Cheney? Because Liz Cheney, it was in the Washington Post, a op-ed. By the way, she lost by, what, 37 uh, points? Her, she got together, Liz Cheney did, and now we find out that some of the uh, past defense secretary, like a crazy nutty daddy, when is this pacemaker going to give up? It's time for the Lord to get rid of this fella. They all knew that he offered, if a man was trying to start an insurrection, he don't offer troops and you don't turn them down. They all turned them down. The Capitol Hill Police, Nancy Pelosi, who's in charge of the Capitol Hill Police, uh, Liz Cheney knew about this, all this information. Mayor Bauer, who turned them down. Christopher Ray knew three days before this. And three days before January 6th, which is January the 3rd, the Washington op-ed comes out. And Liz Cheney and that piece of trash by the name of Dick Cheney, her daddy, Always conspire behind the scenes. Dick Cheney is the same fella who lied about weapons of mass destruction. The CIA even told him there weren't weapons of mass destruction, and he's still with the same narrative. The apple don't fall far from the tree. Dick Cheney was trash when he left office. What is his approval rating? Around fourteen percent. Liz Cheney lost by thirty-seven points in her in her election or her re-election. And now she's talking about she thought she was going to run. She needs to be put in prison. How many more times we can catch these people in line? To me personally, and even Mark Milley, who's a piece of woke trash, who retired, he knew that Donald Trump offered ten to 20,000 troops and they turned it down. Now, if he knows that, shouldn't that be enough to stop all action that he's trying to do an insurrection? If he offer you the damn troops and you turn them down, how is this his fault? How is he trying to start an insurrection when you turn down what he was offering you? This tells me what I always knew and what I've always said. They, were, they didn't want Donald Trump to offer the troops because they wanted a reason to try to stop him from coming in because they know they had cheated in 2020. This is a fact. You don't have to be Albert Einstein to figure this out. You don't need Colombo, Herco Paro. You don't need none of that. It is so obvious that these people were conspiring. Liz Cheney with the rest of them all knew exactly what was going on in the January 6th committee who was supposed to be investigating insurrection lied the whole time. 
She also lied about Donald Trump grabbing the steering wheel. That little crazy heifer who was in his administration went up there and lied under oath. He's been sitting around. He's trash too. Liz Cheney is trash. Why did these people lie this much and try to prevent? So in other words, they wanted people to die. They wanted chaos. Because if they didn't, they would have took the troops. It's a known fact that the mayor, uh, Nancy Pelosi, the FBI ignored it too. All these people ignored this evidence, but Donald Trump is to blame for it because they was trying to set him up. These are low-down, dirty people, the same ones who was lying about January the 6th. I mean, I'm sorry, about, about uh, Russian collusion. The same ones lying about Hunter Biden's laptop. Now they're lying about this, and they've been exposed. I think it was Cash Patel who's made this clear. Even the woke former Joint Chief of Staff leader, uh, uh, Mark Milley, even he said Donald Trump, uh, the President Trump, had requested some troops or he offered troops to come up and they didn't want them because the whole damn thing was a setup. Christopher Wray refused to notify President Trump's administration and his cabinet secretaries that they believed they could be a situation like a mass protest. This was a complete setup. And the Nancy Pelosi's and the uh, Mayor Bauer and this whole select, quote, January 6th committee all should be charged with high treason. What else do they need to do? We already caught them lying. They destroyed the evidence. We found out that they did a, she did a Washington Post op-ed with a hit, hit piece when all of these people, the, the Bushes and the Cheneys behind the scene, trying to sabotage. But God snatched the covers off you frauds. Now they get on TV acting like they're so uh, humble. We know for a fact he offered the National Guard, but they turned them down. Because they had made their mind up. And then you had, remember the video we did the other day? John Brenham and Adam Schiff is saying that the intel community is going to sabotage President Trump if he gets reelected. Clean house. The only way you got to do it the first day, you got to clean house. You can't leave these people in there. They're dangerous. They're not, they're not going to brief him or they're going to water down the briefing. Joe Biden is buffing a hole in the ground. If you want to stop giving somebody the information, that's the main one you should stop giving information. The CIA is so damn dirty, it's not even funny. Now we have all this information, all this waste of time with the January the 6th committee. Now we find out exactly what they're doing, trying to set up the former president of the United States, Sir Donald Trump.